What's up you guys? It's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. We are back in my Passion Planner Daily. Today you guys, we are going to take a look at my January goals, how they went, and you know, discuss that stuff and <laughs> you'll see. And then we're going to go into February, set some more goals for the month of February, and decorate up that monthly spread. All right, so here she is, the month of January in my Passion Planner Daily. I promised you guys I would take you along. I would go back over this with you at the end of the month, at the start of the new month, and we would track our goals together in 2024. I didn't crush it, you guys. Um, January was a magic trick. Now you see it. Now you don't. Just whoosh, just gone. Gone. It was gone. Um, and also, you know, it was a, it's always a crazy, wild and busy month for us. We have anniversary and multiple birthdays and we survived snow apocalypse. Um, those are a little bit excuses, not entirely, but a little bit. I mean, I could have totally buckled down and pushed really hard, but I wanted to prioritize my health above all else in the month of January because I have huge goals for 2024, and if I don't have my health, I have nothing else. So hard to go after those when you feel like trash. So I prioritized my health and I did succeed at that. I'm still succeeding at that. I am doing the zeros challenge. Um, if you don't know, the zeros is something that I created a couple of years ago, just for myself, just a little challenge. I made this printable for myself, for my Facebook group friends, as well as anybody on my Patreon who wanted to just come along and participate. So zero sugar, zero junk food, zero nasty processed food, zero phone past 8 p.m., zero phone before 7 a.m. Um, and by phone, I mean like no social media. If my husband is texting me or I get a message from my grandma, I acknowledge those. Um, zero skipped water days and vitamins. And if I fill up all my jars of hearts, by Valentine's Day, then I get to reward myself with a Valentine of new books. I am really happy I prioritized this because I feel like it sets up for success for the rest of the year. If I start the year and start January off strong with my priorities for health, then of course I am building up strength and a clear mind for everything else. So that went well. It's still going well. I'm actually surprisingly entirely unbothered. Normally, I am a sugar addict and I love coffee, but I hate black coffee. Um, and I just, I don't know, I like treats and, and sugar. Um, but I'm surprisingly unbothered. I think I've reached a point where I'm like sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I'm doing okay with that and I'm happy with that. The next one was Janu Rimo which is basically a spinoff of National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, which takes place in November. I was creating my own word count goals. Um, I didn't hit 15,000 yet. This weekend, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, is going to be like a huge, just buckle down, dive in, write, write, write marathon for me. So I'm still planning to hit this goal before the end of the month. Publish episode three of The Wicked Rot. Again, that should happen in here. So I'm still anticipating accomplishing that before the end of January, but I really don't like getting things in at the last minute. I mean, accomplished is accomplished, but I would have preferred to have it done early on in the month and then I could go ahead and, you know, be like over achieving, but no such luck. Morning and evening routines, I have mostly developed and stuck to morning and evening routines. The morning one is going great most of the time. I'm able to get up with the alarm and have my morning routine. However, a couple of nights this month, our, we call him puppy, he's three, um, God bless him. He just, he's entirely deaf. And so he cannot sleep on his own. He like has panic attacks and flips out. Um, so he's been sleeping right next to me and just nonstop kicking and wiggling his little butt all night long. <laughs> but for the most part, it's going, it's going well. Um, 
the Overly Reading Challenge, uh, we're doing a reading challenge over on my Facebook group, 24 in 2024, 20, 24 books. Uh, it's been so much fun. I'm loving it. I'm loving hanging out with everybody over there. You can still join us. It's not too late. You can come participate and get the freebie packet that goes along with the reading challenge. Hang out with us. It's just a wonderful, wonderful group of human beings over there. I've read seven books already this month, so I'm doing okay with that. I don't have to worry about that. And then Reels, I posted, I think, like three or four reels over on Instagram, but y'all, that's a story for another day. I'm so over Instagram. It's just, it's, it's just not the place for me. Um, so yeah, those are my goals for January. That's how I did. I'm still planning on accomplishing two more at least before the end of the month. Oh, and 12 videos. I didn't get 12 videos up on my channel. I think I did eight this will probably be number nine or 10, depending on when I post this. Um, and I'm not going to force it. I made a goal of 12 videos because I never make goals for videos up on my channel. I just post what I post when I can and what I feel like it. Um, so I'm not going to like try to cram a bunch more in the end of the month and like post an unnecessary video every single day. We'll see how it goes. I do have a few more things planned. And of course we have February setups for other planners and things like that. But again, I'm not going to force it. So overall, not a terrible month, but I really wish I had done a little bit better when it comes to my writing because above my, or behind my health, not above, behind my health, and of course, taking care of my family, my writing is super important as far as my goals. So hopefully in February, now that we've got some health things figured out and nobody has a birthday, um, I can accomplish a bit more. So let me know how you did with your goals in the month of January. Let me know what goals you set, how you did, if you're making plans to pick up again in February and start brand new and try again, totally cool, totally awesome. It's about making progress where and when we can. So let's go ahead now and set up the month of February. So I went ahead and put down the days of the week and the dates of the month already because this is an undated daily planner and it takes forever <laughs> to fill it in with the dates and numbers, but we're going to set some goals and decorate it. Actually, probably flip that. We're going to decorate it and then set some goals. Side note, you guys, Passion Planner is currently having a big sale, the 5 to 15 to $25 sale over on their website. And if you've wanted to give the Daily Planner a try, it's on sale right now, but they're also doing a free Just Start sticker pack with any order. Um, so I always have them linked down in the description with a discount code for you guys. I just, I, a lot of people want to give the planner a try, but it's always nice to be able to grab something on sale or get a freebie, you know, because... We're living in times that are crazy um, and everybody has costs. So I only mention it because you might be able to save a buck. Okay, let's decorate this up. Y'all, I am going to do a Valentine theme spread, a little bit of like romantic, cute. I don't know. I, I don't like Valentine's Day. Um, least favorite holiday. <laughs> but uh, also pink is not my jam either, but... I decided, yeah, I might as I might as well participate and be girly for once. So I have, well, I have some new washi tape, grid washi. My husband got me some grid washi tape, and I also have this really cute like butterfly and music note one. So I thought that'd be cute. I thought I would do like a little romantic, I don't know, like bubble bath and that sort of thing. Because I also have this little match stick, match box stickers box. Yeah, that. Um, and they're really cute. It has like perfumes and bubble bath and roses and makeup and a compact and lotions, like all kinds of stuff that, you know, I don't really care for, but it'll be cute. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be super cute. Let me know if you like Valentine's Day. A lot of people do, and that's totally awesome. I think it's great to celebrate love. Um, also, I am like not a grump about it. I am madly in love. Uh, my husband is amazing. He's the best. I just don't, I don't know. I have certain, certain feelings about Valentine's Day. 
so we don't really celebrate it. We get things for our kiddos. They usually ask for sushi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't make a fuss about Valentine's Day. I like to celebrate love on like a random Tuesday. You know? Plus, my idea of a date is making my husband sit and watch Fringe with me because I love it so much. That's the perfect date. Okay, so I'm going to put the uh, February sticker down at the bottom here like I did with January and cover up this. I'm going to cover up this whole sidebar again. Let's do some X's and O's. All right, and then I wanted to put the butterfly music notes up at the top. I don't know if it really matches with the red. Maybe I need to get rid of the X's and O's because that looks like we're going for a cutesy spread. And then, oh gosh, okay, shoot. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, I think I'm going to get rid of the X's and O's because that makes it look like I'm going for a cutesy, like, fun Valentine's spread, but I'm not. I'm going for, like, a sweet romantic. Okay. There we go. I like that. I pulled off the X's and O's. I'm just going to put the little bit of butterfly washi that I cut off the top of here down here there we go I like that better all right now I need a sidebar sticker to cover up all of this and I'm just gonna use this happy planner one and it's gonna go like a long ways down and that's okay I'm fine with that because I'm only gonna end up using one side of the goals thing so the rest we can just decorate up i'm also going to cover up these like blocks of color and where it says notes up at the top i might even bring in some flowers you guys what what is happening <laughs> decorating this valentine spread as an actual valentine spread is part of my growth it's part of why i chose the word bloom for 2024 right because I can stop being a grump about pretty things and Valentine's Day and <laughs> flowers. It's not that bad, you guys. I make jokes about it, but it's just, I'm just a fall and winter girl. And I get like, just kind of ugh, in the spring and summer. But I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to find things to love and enjoy and be excited about in those seasons. Because, I mean, they're whole freaking seasons, right? It's a long time to feel awful and down. And I don't want to spend my life waiting for fall and winter. Do you know what I mean? I'm flipping through, sorry, the Passion Planner um, Florals and Foliage sticker book. I think that these colors are really cute because this will match the butterfly washi tape and then the rest will match the red. I think I'm gonna go with these. I think I'm gonna take this big one. And put it on here. Oh wait, maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more of this. Oh no, it's gonna cover up the whole let me just rip it then. Put it like that and then I'll trim it and put my flower on the top. Cute. I like that. Okay, I'm going to take this one now and put it up here to cover up where it says notes. For Valentine's Day, I'm going to put this little leaf sticker I don't know I might find a heart or something to put on there as well you guys I totally forgot my February oh, my February month sticker so I'm gonna put that right here before I get too much further and I'm gonna go with gold so that it matches my days of the week and the dates here we go 
And then I think I'm going to put some florals along the bottom here and cut them, like cut the pieces that are hanging over and then flip it and put it going the rest of the way across. That actually ended up being way more <laughs> than I needed. I have these little bits. It's not quite enough to be, I don't know, right here, I guess. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I need to save that. Saving this much was good enough. I can save this piece, though. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay, and then I said I was going to use some of these. So um, what else? What is this? Perfume? What is this then? Bubble bath? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Um, these are really cute. Oh, there's a scoop. So I guess this is like an apothecary sticker pack because I love that. That's an awesome sticker. A scoop. And then there's like this. Oh, that says, oh no, that doesn't say Chanel. That says something else. And then oil, essential oil. Um, I don't know. Maybe just a couple of those. I think I'm just going to do these two. So that one. And. That. I also found this little, I don't know, strawberry soap thing. Maybe, maybe it's candy. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put that right there as well. I guess the one thing I do like about Valentine's Day is the clearance chocolate, like two days later. Um, <laughs> but I guess not this year. Um, I went through my washi tape stickers and found a whole bunch of red stuff that will, I think, go well in this spread for Valentine's Day. Um, just just a bunch of red, like not necessarily a theme, um, because I want to decorate it up just a little bit more. And it's missing some things. Okay, so I thought these little roses with the petals falling would be cute with this stuff, but I don't know how to put it like that. No, no, there's already a variety of flowers on here and it doesn't go. If you do like Valentine's Day, let me know. Let me know what your favorite part of Valentine's Day is, what you like about it. I'm going to put this cake on here. Should I put it right here? I think I should. I was going to put it on Valentine's Day, but it's a little bit big for that. Mm, it's a little bit big for right there, too. Let's put it right here. Oh, shoot. Let's put it right here. I think I can cover that up. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to put down a couple more things and then we'll go ahead and set some goals, which is why we're here. You know what? I actually really like it, you guys. Um, and I'm going to put these two super cute wrong wrong girls over on this side right here just for a cute little like Galentine's Day fun. Also, I want to cover up these boxes. So I'm just going to put them right there like that. All right, y'all, out of the 1 million sticker packs and sheets that I own, I literally cannot find a sticker that says goals. <laughs> so I'm going to write it in here and try to not jink it up. Not too bad, I guess. So I'm just going to compare my January goals to what I want to accomplish in February. Look at the schedule and if there are any days that I know I'm going to be busy, um, which I'm not then I would block those out. But all is good and free and open for February. So I'm going to go ahead and just anticipate that I can really double down and get a bunch done in February. 
All right, so here are my goals really quick, you guys, for the month of February so far. There are a couple of financial goals that I'm going to add to the bottom of this afterward um, for personal reasons, obviously, but stick to the zeros. I'm going to continue on my health plan, start a routine with yoga, write 25,000 words in my novel, upload eight videos to this channel, and read five books. This is all very possible. I just have to buckle down and get things done. And you guys, I'm so ready. I'm very stoked to start fresh in the month of February, also to finish strong in the month of January. There's still a lot of time left to accomplish a bunch, but I'm really looking forward to it. If you want, let me know down in the comments what your goals are for the month of February, how you did with January, what you're looking forward to, what you're planning, if you're making any changes totally let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me for this one. That's all for this one. I will see you in my next one. Tell your dog I said hi. Bye guys.